This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. BCL championship game up to Sporting the four seed St. Francis the two and for Sporting they're trying to make history today being the first four seed ever to win this title Coach Solomon and for both sides what we're going to have today and that one not there for Sykes and Storm. Well that's going to be an uphill task for Sporting. In order for Sporting to win this game Sykes will have to be key and he has to be key in scoring and, in and trying to stop my MVP, Legree. Well, let's talk about the season series. Both teams won on the other court building. So, we're on neutral turf today. Yeah, so we will see who's battling the rubber. Legree for three, ain't no good there. And Carter with the rebound. Uh oh. oh. It's show time for the quarterback. Pass it down the middle. <laughs> Malik Washington with a throwdown there. Hey, we all know Malik Washington is a hell of a football player. That's his main sport. He played basketball just to have some fun. But he got Spalding off and running with the gun. That's a foul there against St. Francis. And it's not to start the pass this one. At least in the early going. Both teams coming out with a little bit of jetty. We had the air ball. We had a turnover. But we know St. Francis shows up for the big games. Nicholas Miles is a big time coach in the big time games. So we'll see how his team responds Panthers today. has been a fixture in this game. This Big and time block. That? Fleming with the block there. Kennedy back over. He slows things down. Good take, good kick. Fleming inside the hook shot. No good. The great with the offensive rebound. Nicholas Miles going for his seventh BCL title. And that's a turnover. Oh, yeah, turnover. Both teams a little shaky here in the early start, but they'll get it going. Well, Spalding won the last meeting between the two. As St. Francis up 15, Spalding came all the way back and beat them on Chase Street a month ago. As you mentioned, this will be the first four seed if they could win this game to ever win the BCL championship. And that's shocking with itself, but history was made last night. Yes, another throwdown there from Washington. Washington. Has come to play early. Washington with two dunks. It's all four points go to Washington and Spalden. Right now, St. Francis has no answer for it. He's Sykes on the three. Uh-oh. Edgar Mullen fakes, floats. Quick goes out. Gets it back. Couldn't get the roll. to pop back up in the air. No and a hell ball now. Again, Sykes and another good play for Simon from the green. Yes. Another good play. Don't be fooled, the Gree has major ups. He gets up with the best of them. He might be six foot of that, but he has high rise of materials in them legs. And he got a hand on that ball and forced a jump ball, a slash hell ball, and the ball back to the Panthers. Fleming, Fleming for three, no. Who oh, else, the Gree? Yep, I got it again. The drive. That should go to Spalding, he will. St. Francis off to a very slow start. And here comes Flamer and Baldwin off the bench, respectfully. Both playing their last game. Well, Flamer's not coming in yet. Just wanted to get him ready. Well, I think Legree's out the game early. There he is. They'll use Baldwin here as defense so far. Washington. Plays it back to Sykes. Good screen. They got the switch off. Good screen by Washington there. Good job by Baldwin to stay on his man and not fall for the screen. Newton travels. Good idea. Just took too many steps. You know, Nicholas Miles didn't hesitate in pulling the green yesterday because he didn't take a shot. That time he took a shot and forced the turnover and pulled him again. But we all know the green will be heard from shortly. Inside down. No good. And they need that effort from the senior today. Carter for three. In and out. Washington. Foul. Wow. That is reminiscent 
of Steph Curry right there. That's today's basketball. You have an outbreak, fast break, one man to beat, and you pull up 4-3. That's today's basketball for you in a nutshell. Everybody want to be Steph Curry. Yep. St. Francis wasn't in this final last year, but before then, the Panthers was in the last five of them. Yeah. You know, it was Goretti and uh, Mount St. Joe's a year ago. Washington hits the first. Washington hits the first of two. And the three back in. Here comes Flamer. Well, we knew Flame was coming in. We needed to get the knees set. And like I said, McGree was only out for one minute, but he's back ready to play. He was the catalyst last year, the Park Mills state championship run. The tap back by Logan, and he, gets, he had the rebound and went out of bounds. The Panthers get it back, but what hustle there. Everybody might know the Gree from last year's half court shot against Delaney that sent Parkville on to the second round. Without that half court shot last year, Parkville wouldn't have had a state championship. I'm looking for big things from the Gree today. Lamer for three. No. Out. Oh. Baldwin. There was some contact there. He's going back to starting him. Well, Flamer. He took the three. I'm not sure Nicholas Miles is uh, feeling great about that, but <laughs> hey, give him his just due. He was open. He took the shot. Coach Josh Pratt from Spalding done such a magnificent job. Still down three members, two starters for his team. And they're here in the final. And not only here, now five early. Sykes, a little too much dribbling, gets it up to Washington. Shot clock at 10. Logan turns it over. That was a fanatic possession there and props to St. Francis defense. You know what's amazing? Yesterday, Sykes was the catalyst for Spalding. Legree was the catalyst for St. Francis. What? So far, both of them off to very slow starts, but I'm sure they'll heat up shortly. And Legree turns it over there, under his leg. Well, we right on cue, off to very slow starts. How much of a factor do you think nerves are playing in this game right now? I think it is for both sides. You know, most of these guys have been on the big pressure moments, and you, you wouldn't think it would matter, but maybe it does. Good defense by Flamer. Corner! Get the cut to go! And early 7-0 lead to Spalding! One more score by Spalding, and Nicholas oh. Miles will be one to talk about it. <laughs> there it is. Shot clock at 18. Long pass back to Baldwin, the shot clock is wide. Legree fakes it. The pass. Oh, man. Well, I have said this in a lot of your presence. She had the handle, she pulled the hole back. It was a good pass. Slamer coming out the game early. Just got in. Going to the boy Brown there, right? Yeah, the big fella, the football player there. Nick. Ball stays and spotting him. Nicholas Miles juggling his, juggling his bench early, trying to find somebody to get some rhythm and get them started. Right now, they trail 7-0. to zero. Who would have year, dunk it? It's been a year problem for St. Francis. Getting off the slow starts. And the talent at times when they were overcome, and other times, not so much. Corner for three! Gotta be a time Bang! Out. Wow! Who would have thought this? The three fakes, shoots the three in desperate time, and hits it! And puts St. Francis on the ball. Hey, when the heat came on for St. Francis. Right. No good. New 10. Fourth, and then turn number four there by Brown and Evermore. The green on the move. Watch the jet. <laughs> ah. no. The ball, oh, I thought St. Francis should have kept that. Ah. I also thought that Nate LeGree should have passed that one the ball one. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't fault the shot there by LeGree, because once he gets started, he gets started. Nevertheless, St. Francis on the board, 10-3. to three. Three ball in on that. 
the green with his third rebound in the game early. Back over the other way. Good defense by Washington. And then Washington let him know about it. Time out. Hey, Nick, Nicholas Miles wants to be like Stephen L. Miles. He wants to talk about it. I, I will say this, we didn't expect the score to be like it is so far. Part of a twin bill for myself today after this, going after the nation's capital. Yeah. I watched earlier the Kingman Clark tied, broke the record before halftime, got the 18 points he needed to break the record. She's the all-time lead scorer. Yep. We'll be back. Back here to game action now. A 10-3 lead here. Boss Bishop Spalding in this one. The Cavaliers so far. It's done a good job doing a little bit of everything. A little transition, a little track in the basket. Big City. There he is. Watch the up, up in the way. Oh, he fouled him. Oh. It was a, it was a good foul. Y'all was going to see the up, up in the way, five slammer jammer if he didn't get pushed in the back. But Legree will be going to the line for two shots. Shooting a pair here at the line. No good. Wow. Legree not happy with that miss. You know, this Spalding team is sneaky. You don't want to give them too much confidence. And right now, they have plenty of it. They're leading 10-3 to three and playing well. 10-4, your score here so far. Logging with the ball. They go, they go get hype, man. Getting it started, we hand from the corner. Oh, we do. Of Let the, me of, is here. Of the end line. Let me out of here, this Spalding has their guy, one of their bus drivers, and their hype guy throughout this run. So it could be a battle with a get hype, guys. It is. Oh, Carter! Step, step Jay Sinti! Jay Sinti! How about that? Carter hit the step back three and looked at the defender. He was wearing number two. He said, take my jersey off. Looking to drive, swings at the Brown. Brown against Newton. Oh, good pass. Tchaikovsky for three. Way off. Way off there. Kennedy threw it up. He gets it back. And no good, Dukowski no good. Washington grabs it, foul to get going. And even Washington said, yeah, it was good effort, right? Yeah, it was all great effort. That's about all you can say, because no points were counted there. But great effort by St. Francis. But St. Francis need more than effort here. We need points on the board. And right now, we only have four. Here comes the big fella Dunbar in the game. Nope, yeah. Here now for no, Spalding. Yeah. 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 13 for your score. And a nice crowd here on a Sunday afternoon here in Towson. Carter again. They got Legree on him this time. Now Kennedy is on him. Carter. Oh, this 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 steal by Legree. Turn over, back the other way, Legree. They may call that foul on the floor. He was actually were. not in motion or going up yet, but we'll see what the official says. That's a great foul because he got not out. It was a good foul, and you're correct, Coach Allen, and bring it out. Any, any referees going to yell at him here? <laughs> got to agree inside. Looking. Foul again, but they didn't call it. Got it, though. What a bucket. Legree, St. Francis six, Legree five. Legree has five of the six for St. Francis as expected. You mean, you mean, you mean Spalding, 13. No, no. And Legree. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, the clock, well, they the got six. off now. <laughs> they got six points. Uh, they got six, Legree got five of the six. 13 to six is scoring there. And I said the Panthers have not played well offensive in the first quarter, but he's only down seven. Good cut at the four here with a 3-3. I predict it's coming. 
Edgar Mullen. The three with a two. Tough shot. Tough One shot. Enough. Dumb ball with the rebound. Washington brings it. Sykes. Dumb ball. Good. Brown got back to stop him. Oh, yeah. he can't leave Sykes open. And they did, and they paid for it. 15 to 6. That was a miscommunication on the St. Francis defense. There's no way you can leave Sykes open. Sykes is a shooter. Oh, oh. the step back from the three. Bang! You was right at the session like that. Oh. The end of one here in Roger, 15-9. And Spalding in front. My man LeBree for three. And if St. Francis wins this game, he'll be the MVP. As St. Francis trails nine to 15. That's the end of one. Yes, and we're back to the second quarter from the 53rd BCL final. Here from Roger College. Quarter here from the 53rd BCL final, the Senate by the Brook Financial Group, Coach Solomon, and voting up by six here. Enough. Who the fuck that? Yeah, well, like you said, they split on the regular season. On the road. Both teams winning on the road. So, Sykes. Sykes with a short jumper. No good. Dumbar fighting for the rebound, and he couldn't grab it, and Brown died. Big Brown has the rebound. He said it was like the cover in the fumble there. He went on the ground and got it. <laughs> The green, green double. Oh, the pass. Brown, moves up. And now, Edgar Mellon with the finish. Moves up. Brown gave some bruising right there. Said, I'm playing football. Y'all can play with y'all what? And guess who, guess who come back in the game for starting? Oh, here come Washington. Washington said, I ain't going to have that bruise up. They have to pull oh, back court. The back court violation. Great defense by St. Francis. They push Sykes back. To the line. Timeout. Spalding. Great timeout here by Coach Pratt. Saying, I don't like how this quarter started. Let's settle things down a little bit. Hey, St. Francis came out jittery, but they've turned up the juices. How about that? As we come back, St. Francis here, like you said, has gotten some momentum. Spalding. In a minute. You know, if uh, Nicholas Miles can pull off this championship, that'll be one of the most impressive ones seeing the St. Francis wasn't the favorite to win it with the year that Mount St. Joe had. But um, only time will tell if Nicholas Miles can pull off this championship. Being his fifth one, if he gets seven, done. Seven. Seventh one. That'll be impressive. It is. Even with the great class he coaches. But Spalden has something to say about that. He said, we're leading, respect us, and give us our opportunity now just to. We're going to see Spalding last time he was in the final of 2013. Kennedy inside, got it. Oh. And he downed it too. That was big time. That was big time. Saltmore has done some big time stuff for the Panthers this year. That was well organized, under control in the floater. Log it off the screen from Washington. It is Davis ball. It's amazing how things go. After the Nicholas Miles timeout, St. Francis has regrouped and got things going the way they expected to come out. So great timeout by Coach Miles to get them back on track. Offensive Spawn trying to win their first title since 2002. And that's oh. when he hit the Rudy Gay Day. That was a great shot. And um, coming off the down, the high post curl. Oh, hey it's staying with St. Francis, but Carter had great hustle there to be in there. Oh. 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 Oh.
and somebody said he's on fire in the words of my man Mark Jackson hands down man down the grief for three can you say BCL first team in the tournament can you say BCL MVP if he wins this game and I would agree with too but we got a ways to go Newton Washington, Washington inside Don't know about that call, but I like the way the Washington is playing. That was a bad call. Yeah. Washington is like a grown man out there playing with boys. So far, nobody been able to stop Washington, but the referees. The gray fakes it for the tie. No, rebound the cycle. St. Francis just can't get over the hump and get that lead. Spalding is holding them off with everything they got. Washington trying to get back inside on the screen. He's not in the position where he needs to be. Got Washington. Now he is. Good pass. Sight Good kick three. out. Yes. Hey. He got that Tyson Commander. Yeah. Like I noted that yesterday. I saw that. Yes. But, but nevertheless, the ball went inside to Washington. Washington made the outstanding pass for Sykes to do what he do, knock down threes. Brown back to Kennedy. Legree kind of taking the possession off to get a little rest. And without Legree, they look a little stagnant. And the for three. No good. Not a good shot. Not a good offensive possession. Here comes Carter the company now. Oh, back to Washington. Sykes, shot clock at 14, they got a little time. Back to Washington. Washington, the grown man amongst boys. Carter wide open for three. Tip the mess. And the ball. Oh! Is that makeup? Yeah. Make Absolutely was a makeup call right there. That was a makeup call. He can't give back the charge or the two points lost, but he can definitely give him the ball back. I'm just calling it how I see it. 421 left here and a half. And a pretty entertaining first half that is. Oh, it has been. Oh, good curling. Good right. hustle. Well, they call him with the. You said it because you're coaching baseball right now. But he was out. <laughs> he was out. I don't like that call in the high school where you make a great effort to dive on the ball and get the ball. But if your body moves, it's a travel. It is what it is, but I don't know what to I say about it. I do agree it's one rule that should be adjusted. Yeah, it should be adjusted. That's a, I don't no. think he had full possession. As long as you don't roll on the floor. When you dive in, your body is going to slide, so the rule should be adjusted. A roll is a turnover. A slide when you dive in should be just a slide. Nick Carter here, shot clock at 16. Oh, 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 and the oh, 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 you serious? Man, he left him in cement. I hate to say it, he was stuck in cement. Collar went by him. Bowen gets it smacked away. Oh, the tie, the tie is tough. Overthrow, overthrow. Sykes seen that open space. Sykes should have gave it to Washington. Washington is the big time quarterback out there. Washington would have hit him in stride. We <laughs> <laughs> see how, how easily he picked the ball here from Ballard. Fleming's about to be in the game. I think Brown will be coming out. Jones for Jones. three. Ah. Nope. And the green. With the offensive rebound, step back three. Jay, sit down. He's heating up. He's heating up. I told you about this Lagree kid. He's the best player on the floor, and he's proven it. Hands down, man uh -oh. down. Oh, got it back from Washington. Got oh, it back over. Washington. I, I just
just spoke to Washington's dad. Washington's dad said he just paid this because he's an athlete. He loves football. I can't tell. That man out there getting work done for them sporting for the sporting you know, team. You know what's funny? If he would take basketball so seriously. No, I'm, I'm kidding there. His athleticism is unbelievable. Man, he's a grown man amongst children out there right now. He's he's having like Burger King. He's having his way. <laughs> Second shot in that'll lead to seven. <laughs> Fleming, they need his effort today. The green. Is that called a second foul? That's the second team foul of the court. I fouled this kid, the green, all last year in the state, in the MPSSA state playoffs. He was outstanding. And he's been outstanding here in the semifinals and the finals. Good pass. Force out. Yeah, force out foul. Good call. It's only a third team foul. Thought the pass led Fleming to the outside, but he did also get pushed out. Sykes second. That's interesting, Echo. Yeah, they can ill afford for Sykes to get in foul trouble. He's got two now. I would think I would think about taking him out. Especially now. Look at the double. But he knows his man. Oh! Oh! Washington coast to coast. The lead back to nine now. Oh, Mrs. Spalding. Inside the Baldwin. No good. Morgan with the rebound. Back to Carter. Carter over. As he Sykes is giving, Sykes gets it back. I think St. Francis is in a little trouble here because there's no answer for Washington. We all know his quarterbacking skills. But what I'm seeing on the basketball floor. Oh, Connor! But he lost it under. He got away from the green. Pass the ball. Pass the ball and get it back. Down. Oh. No. Fleming, offensive rebound. Yes. That was big time for Fleming. That was needed. Much needed. That was a momentum stopper right there. Shot, no flamer here. Washington's body is muscular. That's inside of car for the basket. And in again. Holy smoke. Carter is playing with great confidence. He is. He's taking on the challenge of LaGree. Oh, play a turnover. And it's both in the three there. Wow. You had two guys open. The pass was a good pass. They just weren't looking. Me and you did one of the great final games between John Carroll and St. Francis years back at Calvin Hall. Yes, we did. And that was an unbelievable day. What do you think this one compared to that one? It's right there beside it. It's a great game. And it's can it's can Spalding continue to score. And um well, Washington on the floor is a big difference. Speaking of Washington, there he oh, is. Oh, good pass. A little bit late, but good idea. Yeah, Edgar Mullen intercepted it and knocked it out. 54.4 seconds left in that. But, uh, you know, we always going to say that day still, because remember, they had Derek Queen and Julian Richard to kill with. Right. And, yeah. And, um, John Carroll won that. Right. Day. And overtime. Deep three. Oh. Uh, yeah, St. Francis gets it back. I'm not sure about that shot, uh, but it might have been a little bit of time on the shot clock or something. The Panthers here. Go in the locker room. They want to be down regardless. How can you get your offense going? Got the three. Oh. We could have took that, too. We go now. No. A little bit more difficult. Yep. Edgar Mullen with the offensive rebound. Ah. Foul in. Second team foul again. Same time. Well, it appears as though Spalding will go into the half with the lead. What adjustments will Nick Miles have to make to get his ball team back where they need to be? That's the question. That's the big question. Because right now it's been all agreed pretty much for St. Francis. Ed Kennedy hit a shot early and he hasn't done much since. 
number two. And it's been a team effort for Spalding that has them above. Yep. It's been a little bit of everybody. And that's what you want. Shot clock off. No, shot clock is still on. Technically, it's a maybe nope. six shot tenths of a second. Six, five, no good. Washington, not able to get it back. Long end, no good. And that's the half. Offensive Spalding trying to win their first title since the Rudy Gay days in 2002. And Washington was Washington showing good sportsmanship, great sportsmanship. Trying to help the player out from St. Francis. He was. And is that LeGree? Oh my the goodness. The is down, and Washington was trying to help him out. He went down hard and he hadn't gotten back up since. Looks like he's been hitting the nose, and that, yeah. could, be a, that could be a game changer that's if he's a, not able to return. Huge changer. And he's helped out into the locker room. Halftime here, 30 21 year score up as a spawning, trying to win their first title since 2002. We're back with the second half here from Groucher coming out. Second half here underway. St. Francis looking up at a nine-point deficit. Coach Solomon, see what adjustments have been made here well, in the second half. Well, the biggest adjustment is Legree still on the floor. So he's recovered from the elbow shot to the nose. Backdoor cut. Lena Legree got past Washington. Oh, tough. Oh. Fleming gets it back and puts it in. Lee down to seven. If you're concentrating on the main piece, Legree, that will open up opportunities for others as Fleming came down for the rebound and finish. Ball get inside the wall. Oh, good pass. Nutri got stripped by Downs and a good strip. Oh, good pass. Fleming lays it in the lead down. Fleming with a quick four points. If St. Francis gets the timeout here, I mean a stop here and a score, Spalding's look for Spalding to call a timeout to stop this little mini run. Oh, we're a long way from that. Spalding has possession looking to score, which they've done so, so easily this first half. Good Second defense. half now, have been as easy, at least early. Inside Washington. The pass. They got to go back to Washington. The double, back, oh, swing, pass. target for three. Should be rewarded. Oh, didn't get rewarded, the ball nope. hit the shot clock. Hey, that was a great possession by Spalding. Great passing, it just didn't go down for him. And I think he wants to be like Stephen Al Miles, and he wants to talk about it. Two. <laughs> we knew it was coming if St. Francis scored, but it came a little sooner than we thought. Well, it's in, yeah. The thing about it, it was a great possession. They actually moved the ball greatly. The shot just didn't go down. We'll be back. Right here, the game action now. Down brings it up for the Panthers here. See what happens here. Wow, look, the green. Oh, no, no. Take him on the it in. This is as close as St. Francis has been. Cut the lead to three as Spalden is yet to score in the third quarter. Good pass by Washington once again. Oh, strip. Oh, I don't know about that. He made the right call. He made the right call. That's close. Washington has been so impressive with, with his uh, passing, his rebounding, and his scoring. Yeah, he's done a little bit of everything here. 
we know he can pass. But the falling has not been on the scoreboard here in the second half. That was a uh, that was a foul and that wasn't called. Big three for the tie, no good. No good. Ball here on offense, got to get going a little bit here. Newton. Fleming a little slow. Oh, turnover. He's up for Watson here. So get Kennedy. Green. He's shooting that. Oh, He's shooting that. Yes, He's shooting that. I told you guys, this kid is not to be played with. Hands down, man down. He, he's rating threes from Steph Curry territory. We're tied at 30 here in this one. Washington back to Carter, back to Sykes. Longin. Somebody got to shoot the ball. Spalding just needs to get a score. That's the shot clock. Yeah. Great defense, I think, man. And that has been the adjustment. The defense of the Panthers here. Frustrating Spalding. Nothing's been easy now. I don't know. Nicholas Miles didn't make some adjustments at halftime. Whatever he did, it seems to be working. The team is fired up. The crowd is fired up. And the score is tied up. I love it. Back here to Fleming. Kennedy, for the lead. Not a good shot. Rebound back foul against St. Francis. Now. Not a good shot there by St. Francis. Not a good shot, not they had all the momentum going their way, and he jacked up a questionable three. And his name was not LeGree. at 30 in a great championship game. No arguments there. Inside of Washington. Rome Bain. Rome Bain. You know who he looks like a little bit to me with the hair and the shoulders. Looks a little bit like Cam Whitmore in body stature. <laughs> And he's smart on the floor. No good. A little strong, you can be, to, to be expected. He built like a robot, so you know. Jolie saying, but tennis in the end zone. This, young, this young man has a big time future. No question about it. We may it. be seeing him on Sundays one day soon. It's the second air, and the lead to one. Uh, Spalding finally gets on the scoreboard here in the third quarter as they take a one point lead. Three for three! No. Rebound the tight. That was a little quick there on that jump. Yeah, that wasn't one of his best shots. But when your name is Laguiz, Sykes inside! Of the defense. And it's staying, though, with Spalding. Fleming with the block. When your name is LeGreen, you got the green light like Steph Curry. Sice comes out now. There's a time attack him for foul trouble. Sice has been quiet recently. Yeah, he won't be out for long though. Might be a good little substitution. As long as you got Carter in the game, you got a ball handle. Long in, back, Carter. Shot clock at 10. Washington. Oh, there you shot. go. Oh. I have been traveling. Deep three for Carter. Violation. Again. Had to shoot it when it went over there. That's two possessions, but we had a 30 second shot clock violation. That's not good offense with Spalding. But yes, the one kid should have taken the shot when he had it. For two. Nail it! And the Panthers gain the lead back. Nicholas Miles called timeout. That was great rotation on that jump shot. If you watch that ball, it came off his fingers where it's supposed to roll, and it had end over end rotation, and it was like NBA 
Another big nylon as St. Francis takes the lead, 32-31. Time out here, Nicholas Miles. Yes, sir. We'll be back. Back to game action here, 318 left. I was giving you a pick them off. It hurts. I heard you have three mix in there. What can Spalding do here to get their offense going in the third? You know, even with the slow start from Spalding this third quarter, they're still only down one. Plenty of your basketball left to go. They just got to find their poise. This has been the problem right here, though. The shot clock running down on them. That's got to be good. Three ball for Logan. That's got to be good. Right on target there. Two leads to two for the Cavaliers. Big time shot from Logan there. You can feel it coming. It was a good rotation of the basketball, and it got the ball in the hands of that shooter. Almost didn't handle it. Shot clock at 10. Edgar Mullins with a lead back. No. The green. Richard Scott, though. Ball's under the legs. Able to get it back. Downs tough shot. Three. Downs. Tough Real shot. Tough shot. Walker's in the face. Tough Cuts shot. Over. Newton. Carter. Spins. Dead. Washington lays it up. We got players down on this side. Players down. And that's LeBreed, I think, second time being down in the game. And Washington and uh, Logan holding his own. And yeah, yeah. In the words of Jim Ross, and Quincy Mask is out, unfortunately, for Logan. Uh oh. Look like a look like an ankle, and he's not happy. Remember, before the half, LeBree had to get helped out before that. Yeah, but he came back on fire. Came back on fire, but now he's trying to walk it off. Logan. Logan looks to have a nosebleed. Nosebleed, yeah. Which is vital to Spalding with his shooting ability. He can't afford to be off the floor. He's the floor spacer. He is, but out the two, if it's the three down, that's more hurt. No arguments there, because Washington still imposing his will inside. As with all being lost there, Spalding did score and take the lead. To four. Yep. So it's the St. Francis ball. Correct. Two minutes, eight seconds to go in the third. Play a little music. We'll be back. Back here to game action now. Go Solomon. Big possession for both sides. The three about to check back in as well. And so. Flamers coming in as well. Ball with. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock. Yeah, shot clock at twelve now. Edgar Mullen for three. Three. No. Who's giving the rebound? Uh oh. Newton with a two. That was a bad possession for St. Francis. It was. As Lebrie looks to get back in the game. Open shot. No good. And they have the offensive line. This is Fleming's best game I've seen so far recently. He's been a force on the boards and put some shots back. 38-34 now. Very entertaining game. This the grown man. And one, two. The grown man is here to play. Here to play. Grown man status. Right. And Flamer in the game now. We haven't seen much of Flamer in Washington, hey. Solomon. What you think? Hey, Flamer has come in to try to stop the grown man. I'm here to tell you. I know his father. His father tough. I know he tough. Washington putting up a big game for Spalding. Big time game. Tip oh. Miss. Fleming up high to get the rebound. Yeah, go up high to get it. 40-34. You would say Spalding played a bad third quarter. They're still upset. Right. Block three. No, he got it. I thought he had contact on it. Man, he got rid of that ball so quick. I Steph Curry would have been proud. That was a quick release. I thought homeboy touched it. I thought no way he was going to be able to get it off. Lead to three now. 
Watch, watch the grown man. He's inside. Not down, shoot the up. Nailed it! He took the red buckets in his tournament and continues to do so. Sula Abusi drops it in. McGree. He's back. He got it. Oh. McGree, like anything you can do, I can do better. Block. Block. At the three. What a full quarter we're about to see here. Three point lead. For a four seed offensive scoring, trying to be the first ever four seed to win in a BCL title. I tell you what, the fans are getting their money's worth because we're seeing some great shooting, some great defense, and some great scoring. Uh, that's a good point there, D. And it'll be Smallum trying to make history being the first four seed to ever win the BCL title. Newton! Oh, great call. Absolute great call. He was there. He was set. And it doesn't pertain to the college circle right there. If that was college, it, was, it, it would have been a block. High school doesn't pertain to that circle. And he was set. Newton was a little wild going in as well. Lit. Kennedy and company have a chance to tie it with a three. Nicholas Miles coming with four high. Bowen. Back Flamer. to Flamer. Kennedy, he was in a perfect spot there to shoot the three. He goes oh, good two shot. instead. No good. Fleming. Third pass, no good. Batting around, rebound to Newton. Then Grass is back on defense, though. Makes ball and got to slow it up. Brucey for three. Oh. Short. Newton gets the offense rebound. Brucey gets it back. Pulls up for two. Off the back, no good. Fleming with the rebound. Then we got to give it up. Oh. He didn't. And now oh. oh. it ties the game at 44. Whoa. Fleming said, I'm going to give it up, all right? I'm going to give it up this three. Take it. Tie ball game here. Everybody on the floor. And St. Francis gets it. Never oh. back the ball. Nigga, this mile saying slow it down. Kennedy. Oh. They got to be looking for the green. And he gets open to get it. Why does St. Francis have Fleming and Flamer on the game? Oh. Oh. I'm standing past from the green. Oh. Look at the green, baby. If St. Francis wins this game, McGree for MVP. Oh my, 6.24 left. We got a whole lot of games left. Here yeah, in this one of games. First of three pass here on DSN today. Woo. We will be back. Yep, back to game action here. St. Francis leads only for the second time tonight as they had a one point lead earlier, 32-31. It might be a short lead. Whoa, in and out. In and out there, no doubt. Rebound, flavor. One possession game. Fleming. No good. Don't like the shot, Dan. Right the other way here. Washington. Clock and foul. The biggest thing about the call, if it wasn't a call, was a turnover. But that's play basketball. The refs made their call.
Sykes got to get going for, um, oh, that's out of bounds, saves his opponent. Sykes has been the one that's been quiet for Spalding, and he was so essential yesterday in the win. If he can get cooking here in the fourth, Spalding has a good opportunity to come back and continue to take this game. But they only got two scores really going right now. Deep three for corner. Yes! And the lead back is strong in by one. The base St. Martin sporting. Hands down. Man down. Holler said, you don't want to guard me, you'll pay. I tell you what, this Kayla Gree has been as advertised in this BCL tournament. You couldn't have asked for much more out of this kid. He's a state champion already, trying to become a BCL champ. Free throw good, as expected. As he ties the game up, 46-46. Second shot here, trying to make this a one-point game lead here for the Panthers, and do. The greed does take the lead for the Panthers. Get your popcorn out, because we got more to go. Carter. Carter escapes. Oh! Washington gets it back, blocked by Plummer. Washington one more time. Washington is a grown man, as I stated before. One point lead. Fleming for the lead. No. And the other way here. Falling. Isolation shot didn't work there for Fleming. It wasn't a bad shot because he was open. Yeah. But you just got to make it if you're open. Just didn't work. What, like you said, wasn't a bad shot. Oh, Carter! Plays it in! Harder. Harder giving the green a little bit of his own medicine to blow by there. Back to, back to Fleming. The green against Harder. Harder's morning. Harder's morning. Good turn out by Nicholas Powell. That's a good time out. And as you were saying, as you were saying, Don't forget him, as you would say. Oh, Lord. Talk about a drop to chest. <laughs> we'll be back. Back hey. in the game action here. It's been the Carter Show recently. Oh, Carter! Kennedy! Tipped and miss. Trying to tie it. Fleming. Fleming gets it back. Puts it in. Puts it in to lead down one. Big time rebound from Fleming. No lie. No lie to take it there. I see they brought in the defense to stop it to try to stop Carter. Yeah. That's Baldwin there. Baldwin up on Carter with a screen from Washington. Newton. Sykes. Sykes is due. Oh, but he got stripped. Yeah. It went off in the green. Bailey. Every Mullen in. The flamer out. Carter has been in search. You know, he's getting it done right now for Washington and some timely deeds from um, number three. Yeah. From Logan. From Logan. Washington back. Oh. Washington's a great passer as well. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Shot clock running down. Carter for three. Short. Legree with the rebound. Lead here to one. We got a fantastic finish coming up, y'all. Good screen. screen. Good pass. Fleming. Pulls up. No good. Offensive foul over the back against Kennedy. Fleming should have shot the first attempt. He hesitated, and then he was forced to take the second opportunity there. He hesitated. You got to be a scorer. Big time players do big time things in games, and we're about to find out who that is. We know Carter. Big, we know Washington. Big time. Good defense. Shooting two. And he's there. Two 
36 remaining. Can, can Washington make both free throws here? That's Every point is crucial. Get 236 to go in this game. Every point is crucial in this one. Hey, Washington ain't feeling no pressure. He says himself, he does this for fun. I'm a football player. Well, let Coach Pratt hear you say that out loud. Tight <laughs> Hey. Misses second, one of two, and he leads the two. Tough shot. Very tough. Baldwin able to get it back. The three. Baldwin. No. Fleming with the offensive rebound. We got a hell ball. Yes, we That's St. Francis ball. That'll be St. Francis ball as the last one went to Spalding. Yep. We are correct. Spalding. Shot clock at 20. Game clock at 218. You gotta make that pass and take that shot. You gotta shoot that. Gave it up to LeGree. He's locked. They are staying on LeGree in this game. He's still doing his thing. Kennedy for the lead! That's good. Kennedy! That's good. I saw it off his hands. 52, 51. Hands down, man down. We got a game, y'all. Nobody was near him, so it was, all, it was almost five seconds. Neither team in the penalty yet. Sykes, good time out by Coach. Oh, Pratt takes time. I don't know if it was a great time out or not. He, had, he seemed to have the advantage off the dribble there. But yeah, we'll find out. It was a little fun. We'll little find fun. out off this possession. Yes, we will. 151 left. Here in regulation time. And what a game we've seen in this 53rd championship game. We'll be back. All right, here back to game action now. 151 left to play. We got a 51 52 ball game. Favor St. Francis. Yep. Carter's been the main man of all the Washington here in the second half. Washington gets it up to Carter. Our clock at 10. It's been the Carter, Washington, and Hogan show. Carter on the move. Double teamed him. Washington was double teamed. They will keep it. No. Off of Off of Washington's ankle. Yep. That was a tight possession. Yeah, that's why I said when he called the timeout, the guard had him. Legree on the handle. You can, you can understand both of them. Legree with it. Huge possession there for both sides. Splits the D is LeGree and lays it off! 54 51! Huge hit. LeGree has that great hesitation dribble and he's able to get by defenders with it. Log in for two. Log in. Puts himself in at Washington. And a good save there. Washington has been all over this game. His fingerprints are printed to the game. Great rebound, great extra possession. Can Spalding do anything with the extra possession? 56 seconds left here. They're looking for the shooters. Logging. Oh, oh, he had to dunk. He was late. Yep. He didn't make the pass. Connor. Sykes. Sykes will take the shot. He's well. been quiet today. He's going to shoot it. No, he didn't. He was looking for long in the play. Timeout, Spalding. We're making that presentation afterwards. So 
sometimes games come down to experience. That was a bad possession for Spalding as the last couple has been kind of tough. But we'll see how it plays out. Still down one possession. But the foul situation, Spalding has two, St. Francis has three. Well, you need to get five to shoot two. If St. Francis can take care of the ball here, it looks good for him. We'll be back with that coming up. Back in the game action now. Full court press. Full court press. You know it's huge. Get the pass in. They get it in. Oh! Come out! By St. Francis. Huge there. Shot clock down to 23. And the game about the 32 seconds. What an adamant game here. Both coaches are adamant right now. You know, this is, this is basketball at its finest. Everybody's involved, coaches, assistant coaches, players, referees. This is what it's all about. Hard work, dedication. Neither team wants to lose. Back here in the game action now. Oh, the green is free. Outstanding game by both teams. No one lost this game. No one lost this game. But as I predicted before the game started, the green for MVP. St. Francis is their 11th overall championship and their 7th under Nicholas Miles. Nicholas Miles out there doing the old man dance. Ha ha ha, he is. Well I, don't know, I don't know what you call it. Just asked to hit one of the coaches at Morgan. Are you going to get number four? And his name is Legree. I said I second that. Legree to Morgan State, hopefully. You know, it's tough for Spalding. They play again Tuesday in the Maryland Private School Tournament. But they wanted this one today. Spalding season. Yeah. Spalding season continues on. But yeah, Spalding season continues on. They're playing the independent tournament with all the big teams. Even yeah. No, it's um. What? It'll be at Spalding season. Spalding season, they know it. They paint it in the Pinto tournament. The Mac is in it. Spalding's in it. Um. Where's that? It's at Spalding season. It's at Spalding Tuesday. It's at different gyms all around. Okay. I was just. Slide on. I said Tuesday is Spalding. Tuesday. Yeah. 
They want to look online, man. Yeah, you gotta look online. Y'all gotta look online. Look online. Look online. That one, the times don't be don't be set up yet. Yeah. And that's where he can ready to go now and watch some of the quarter. That quarter. I'm watching the DC side. It's like one big tournament. Yeah, that ain't a part of that. Though. That's separate. How about it? St. Francis had a season not normal, up and down. Last loss was the Glen Out Country last week. They won three straight here to win the BCL title. That was Mount Seven. All right, we I think we're about to get ready for the trophy presentation here. And you said Legree MVP, I second that motion. Yeah, I said Legree yesterday would be MVP. And um, there's no doubt. It's hands down. Slim Cat Miles' sixth title. Trying to look a bit down the stretch and the veteran team of St. Francis pulled it out. Um, Smalden played every game, played their heart out, but just couldn't get it done down the stretch of the game, the last few minutes. Washington played phenomenal, Carter played phenomenal, where Sykes played phenomenal yesterday, it's kind of a little MIA today, but he still has a bright future. No doubt about it. team in the tournament. From Archbishop Spain, 
Cam Carter, no doubt, he played his heart out today. He gave everything, he left everything out there on the table. Heck of a game by Mr. Carter. Hold on. Sophomore. Good job, Trent snuck in the ra under the radar right there. He some big shots in both games. From St. Francis, Josiah Kelly. That is it. We should all stand up and start saying MVP. <laughs> it's the truth. It is, though. You make it number four. MVP LeGree! Yeah, Remember, the MVP get a separate award. Yeah. Man. Oh, 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 oh. And the 2024 Jordan Hall As I stated before we started, Legree would be MVP, and he did not disappoint. Legree was brilliant today, as well as yesterday. No doubt about it. All right, man. All right, fellas. See you down, down the road. See you down the road. I see you at the other part of the night. Hey, hey. I'm coming if you got the green. Hey, look, you got that green on us. I know I'm coming. And it is well deserved. No hurt for Spawn and two straight final occurrences in the last week. Well, they was in the MIA championship yeah. as well. To lose. Now, what a program builder for Coach Grant. As you know, Spalding is not known for basketball much on the male side. Right, and most of their teams are underclassmen, so Spalding should be back. Yeah, Spalding should be back in yep. big statements next year as well. No doubt. Game of the year? Yes, it is. All you Spalding fans, Spalding will carry on the season. They'll be going to play in the independent league next week. Let me give them a better name. Maryland Private School Basketball Tournament, which they'll be playing Mount Sinai Prep here tomorrow. See this on Tuesday. It's Tuesday or tomorrow? Yes. Tuesday. For them, it's tomorrow. For us, Tuesday. Number two, Josiah Kennedy. Kennedy hit some big shots throughout the year. He's a sophomore, should be back with the Panthers next season. Number three, Tyler Baldwin. Tyler Baldwin, final game at St. Francis. Little Bubba. Ace, Ace ball and win. going out as a champ. Who won the MIA championship this year? Mount St. Joe. So you had the two elite programs, Number Mount St. Joe and St. Francis, win the MIA championships and the BCL championships. So the two elite programs continue to soar above the rest, but jobs well done for the rest. No doubt. Because the rest are coming. They are. 
coming and rapidly. Spalding proved they are here. And the future is bright for Spalding. Number five, Joshua Ruff. Josh on the move. Had a lot of time, but played a good role on the bench. He was always positive. And his brother was a star here. Indeed, his brother playing University of Maryland at the moment. So we had two brothers on St. Francis. Their, their brothers were former stars there, off in the uh, collegiate world. Megan Mullen transferred from the city. Won a state title there. Just won a private school title here on the BCL. Oh, so St. Francis has two players that won state titles last year, and two players that won the BCL uh, title this year. Jarkowski get more time next season, sophomore. Started the uh, semifinal Started game. Started semifinal game, yeah. Got hurt mid-season. Fleming this season, up and down play, had some injuries throughout, but Fleming had his best came game. more strong today. He had his best game I've seen him play today. He yep. came through when he needed the most. This is true, came on very strong today in the championship game. Number 20, Benjamin Brown, Jr. Benjamin Brown. How about last year we did the uh, MIA final and he really held Alan Hansbury and held his own. I like to call him Bruiser. <laughs> Big Bruiser out there, Mr. Brown, yeah, the brand new brother today. in town. Sean Miles was hurt all year, son of Nicholas Miles. Wow, I, in stride and I remember him when he was playing rec ball AU. It's good to see. Number 22, Donovan Clover. Nicholas Miles took his son's trophy. Yep. He still hurt. Flamer. Big defensive player right there. Like his game. Flamer rolls changed throughout the season, but he, was, he stayed positive throughout. He's had a four-year journey amongst schools, but he landed at the right place, St. Francis. At the right time. Mr. Pittman, one of the seniors leaving. One of the football players as well. He plays some football. No one positive on the bench. They get a lot of time throughout the year. How about that? The freshman got on the team in time and be winning the title. He did play some minutes throughout since he came up from JV. That's my guy, Terrence Jones, with the Deep Creek Elementary over in Essex, Maryland. I was hoping to get him at Chesapeake High, but he came where he belongs, St. Francis. Miles, I would like, say out of all of these. Look at Nicholas' face. Nick was like, hey, the trophy belongs over here with me. He's standing <laughs> in disbelief. You know, out of all of them, we definitely say this one was well, well. And deserved. And deserved as well. I think the coaching staff as well for St. Francis get a lot of credit. We thought the last two games did a lot of good adjustments and won both games because of it. Yeah, it's um, a season of triumphs. A season of disappointments at times, yep. but uh, at the end, they prevailed to be the BCL 2023-24 champions. One of the things too, you spot and you sit and watch, and you know what you got to get to. You know, Mount St. Joseph and St. Francis got you both times, and the MIA and the BCL final, you know what you got to go and get to next season. But for Spartan and their season it continues on in the private school tournament. That'll be coming up on Tuesday, but our day is not done here on DSN. To DC we go for the DCSA Class AA Girls and Boys title. We'll see you in about a couple hours' time for the nation's capital. Till then, we'll see you in a bit. So long. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?